Hello fellow space nerds, my name is Alexander, I'm 13 years old, and I go to Lake Braddock Secondary School. I've been homeschooled for a couple weeks, and I really appreciate public school teachers right now. According to the NASA website, a background in robotics can help with a career at NASA. Thanks for the info! So, while the distance learning program is kicking off where I live, I'd much rather build a rover. But, I have to start small. And wow! I never appreciated how hard NASA engineers work. This basic circuit board is a little harder to control than I thought, but I'm getting better. This is my most recent project. It uses analog digital data, resistors, a multicolor LED, and a heat sensor, it's a meat thermometer, to create a machine that changes color depending on the temperature. I wire it all into this breadboard, and it works. It's cool how the sensor changes resistance based on the temperature, and then the Arduino can measure it based on the voltage. And with that, I have completed step 10 of my journey. Step 1 million, miniature Perseverance Mars rover. Next step, learn what a semiconductor is. The big plan is to try to build a mini Perseverance that can boldly go across the living room. For that, I'll have to learn semiconductors, motors, more C, and a ton of other things that I don't even know exist. I'm really going to have to persevere. Uh -huh. Want to try this for yourself? I found plans on the NASA at home website for a detailed mini rover that was the inspiration for me trying to make my own. If you want to try this for yourself but don't want to go through the long learning process, I suggest you go there. So thank you to NASA at home for the inspiration. I've got a plan, some torn up kids toys, and a lot of time on my hands. Let's see how much engineering we can get done.